The deepest cut in anatomy wasn't made with a scalpel. It wasn't into muscle or fascia or bone. It happened when we began studying the human body in death, because it was the only way we could. From the very beginning, we tried to understand life by examining what was already lifeless. Bodies that no longer moved, breathed, or sensed. And from this very absence, we built a science. The future of anatomy is one that must heal from its deepest cut. The cut that separated life from structure. That reduced the body to what could be seen, measured, and named. But left out what could only be felt and lived. This is where I would love to see anatomy heading in the future, not toward rebuilding what was lost, but toward exploring what has always been connected. To trace the echoes between sensation and structure, to study the reflections between body and mind. Because movement influences mood, emotion shapes posture, perception shifts physiology, If we want to truly understand the human being, we can't keep looking at parts in isolation. The future of anatomy won't come from cutting deeper, but from seeing more clearly, zooming out, connecting systems, following the interplay. A body that's not just organized by function, but animated by the soul.